In this video, I'm going to show you the best spam protection settings for a Nightbot. My name is Tree, and I'm extremely support videos. See you smarter, not harder. But before I begin, as you remember, Tuesday and Friday, 8pm Central European time on twitch.tv slash tree, feel free to hop in and just ask anything about streaming. For this, we need to go to nightbot.tv and log in. Then on the left, we go to spam protection. Here we see a lot of different options. Black text word, caps, emotes, links, symbols, and repetitions. To know which settings would be good for your nightbot, we need to know what happens on Twitch. So for example, people like to raid, and when they raid, they like to put a raid message in the chat. Some people do this in caps, some people spam a lot of emotes, and some people say the same thing over and over just to get some hype in your chat going. This means that if we would actually ban people for emotes, caps, or repetitive sentences, we might be banning people that are just here to share love and hype. So what we have to do is make sure that the caps emotes, symbols, and repetitions are not on. They need to be off. What needs to be on is blacklist words, enable, and links, enable. Now we're gonna actually jump into these and set these right. So let's start with blacklist words. Go to options. Here we can put words that we don't want to be used in our chat, like the M word, the C word, and the rest of the alphabet. Nah, you actually know what I mean. So we can type them here. So an option is if you use this asterisk behind the word, then everything with that word in between is going to be timed out or anything like that you said in here as well. So for example, they do that with test here. If you do that test with asterisk, then testing, because the word test is in testing, will also count as one of your blacklist words. So be careful with that. If you want to add more than one, just get some enters in between. You can also check usernames on these dirty words by just clicking this on and you can whitelist some things. So if you like to talk about booties and you think the word booty is okay to say in your chat, you can type the word booty in here. Then we have timeout length. So if somebody actually uses one of your blacklist words, then they get timeouted. And now it says 600, that's 10 minutes. So they're gonna be timed out for 10 minutes. You can set this lower if you want or can you can even make it higher if you want, but I wouldn't make it higher than 10 minutes. We're just going to keep the limit of 50. Then exempt user level. So now what it means that moderators can still use these words. If you use very dirty words in here and you are not okay with them being used, keep them on owner. But if you do trust your moderators, you can also keep it on moderators. I would not recommend setting this lower because these words that you're going to put in here, the blacklist, are going to be really dirty words anyway. And if you click the silent button, Nightbolt will not announce that they have timed out somebody, but they will be just timed out for a while. I would recommend not clicking on this because um, you want people to actually see that this person did something wrong and that consequences are getting to them. And we can set a custom message like saying, don't use dirty words in my chat. Anything you want. It's just like a warning message. And then we can submit it. And for the links, we also click on options. So here with the links, if that's on, people cannot post links in your chat. What I recommend is you whitelist some things that have a dot in between. So for example, the name Diva from Overwatch, because some people want to write Diva and the bot will think that it's a link and time them out. I would also recommend that you put your own social media in here. So if people saying twitter.com slash tree and twitch, they will not be timed out because they're actually just promoting me. It would be weird to time them out. So I would recommend definitely putting your own social media and your own links in here. Besides that, you will walk into some other words all the sentences people might use with a dot in it and just keep adding them in here as you find them out. Then again, we can set how long this person needs to be timed out for if they use the link. If you just want the link to be deleted, you can set this on one second and then it will just remove the link and after a second they can talk again. Here you can exempt people again. For links, this might be something cool as you might want your subscribers to be able to post links anyway because they want to share something fun. Usually trolls are not subscribing uh, because that costs money. So if there's a troll that wants to post a dirty link, usually they're not subscribing to do that and therefore it's usually kind of safe to keep this on subscribers. If you don't trust them at all, keep it on moderators. 
And then again, we can warn people silently or we can time them out just in public and we can set our own message for that. And then if we submit it, we will be good to go. Don't forget to go to your own Twitch chat and type slash mod nightbot to make it a moderator so it can do a lot more on your channel and you won't run into any problems. Now the other thing you need to make sure of is that nightbot is actually on your channel. So if it says part channel, you're good. If it says join channel, please click on it first. These are the best settings for the Nightbot spam protection, if you ask me. If you want to learn more about Nightbot, I've got a ton more videos about it. So just hop into this playlist with me and I'll show you more about Nightbot.